public announcement. I'm not just wearing these because I want to take my videos to another level of cool. <laughs> Although I recognise it is automatically a cooler video because I'm wearing sunglasses. No, in fact, I have a disgusting eye infection thing. Yeah, mm, sounds great, right? And uh, my eyes currently look like big, bulbous, horrific things. Have you ever seen the film Goonies? There's that sloth guy, the, the, the one that says... Anyway, him and my face are in are in sync right now. And I don't want to put you through that, so I'm putting the glasses on so I feel quite cool, even though I look interesting, to say the least. Public service announcement are over, and let's get on with it. One, two, and we're off. Play me, play me, play me. Play me like my tongue is grinding. I'm the worst football manager ever and welcome back to Corby Carnage Man. Things have been turning around since you were last here. If you weren't last here, if you didn't watch that last video, then go back, watch the next one before you catch up on today's episode. Or maybe you're completely brand new to this channel today. Well, if that is you, if you fall into that camp today, welcome, welcome to the world of this. We are in our second season with Corby and to put it bluntly, since the last video, things have been looking very rosy indeed. We uh, lost that last game against Met Police 2-1. I know, I was a bit sad about that. I'm sure you were too. I'm, I'm sure you felt the pain as much as I did. However, since then, we've basically gone from strength to strength. In fact, we're actually unbeaten in the league since the last match. We've played six games in total, five of them league games. All five of the games we won. And then we, 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 we lost another game, but we'll come to that. You can see here against Buxton, we won 2-0. Um, Silent J and Orinuga scored. Scored. Silent J, Orinuga, Silent N, good grief. I could I could continue the list of heroes from this season that is seeing me through. Ah, my headphones. I'll put them. I, I'm already much cooler now. Now I'm wearing my headphones. Look at this. I feel like I feel like I could go and walk through a London underground just being like, yeah, mate. Look at me. With my chest out. Cover that. It's been appropriate for now. Then the game against Farsi where we won 3-1. Tommy Webb scored. Tommy Webb scored his first goal of the season in that game. Great game. And then Silent N scored the other two um, after the 85th minute, which is beautiful stuff to make us 3-1 up. We were, it was quite a close one, and we were like, oh, is it going to be a draw? But then boom, we scored, and then boom, we scored again, and everything was just lovely. We, we then played the next round, the third round of the Northern League Cup. As you remember, it doesn't mean anything. I wasn't really that fast. I've just been putting in my reserve slash youth team. However, as an interesting fact, my average player age is 22 years old this season. I, I know. Am I a developer of young talent or what? Anyway, so I put the reserves out and it was a pretty great game to watch, to be fair. We lost 5-3 in the end, but you can see here that um, Hyde gave us a pretty good game and uh, we were sort of trying to play catch up they went actually 3 nil up I think it was yeah they were 3 nil up and we then began to get it back we went 3-1 we went 3-2 and then they then got another couple 4-2 4-3 we then got another one to make it 4-3 um, because it was 4-2 and then we made it 4-3 and then uh, or something like that something anyway whatever it was it was a good game Look, you can look at, you can look at that just hit pause Look at that, and then let's go back and carry on. So we're out of the cup, but that means we can focus on the league now, which I'm pretty pleased about because I want to focus on the league. We've just been like goal machines the last three games. We won 3-1 against Starbridge. Silent J and Silent N scoring. Silent N scoring two. Silent J scoring one. The next game, Silent N scored again to make us 1-0 up against Matlock. Bottom of the league, not doing very well, so I'm glad we won. But to be fair... Only winning 1-0 isn't quite good enough for me at my standard, I feel. <laughs> my standard. My standard. I'm talking as if I'm like Premier League standard, which which I will be. I will be. And then we have just finished a game against Whitby where we won 4-2 and a silent end hat-trick. He scored the last kick of the game to get him his hat-trick. Great game. What a great game. Loved it. And so here we are in the league. We're now back up to second place in the league. Namwich are now doing really well and are three points ahead of us. They are playing playing very strongly at the moment and we're going to have to have our work to cut out to keep up with them. But second place is not bad at all. Very happy with that. And today we play Kidsgrove who are down here. You can see in 17th place. Not doing so badly. No, they are doing badly. What am I talking about? 17th? 
17th is terrible. Okay, formation wise, if you watched the last video, you would have known I went for a weird formation and thank you for your advice. Um, Orin, I saw in the comments below, said here's a, an alternative for you, which I do like the sound of some of the principles that he brought. I'm not going for the 4 1 4 1 because what actually happened is after that, I went back to the 4 4 2, started playing the 4 4 2 again, and it worked quite nicely. But again, the same problem I had last time in that the strikers just needed a bit more support. So I've now gone to 4 2 4, and since then, the last six games as you saw apart from the one I lost I've been winning all the time scoring a lot of goals sure I have not had a clean sheet as well for a few games but you know swings and roundabouts isn't it okay so here's the lineup that I'm ge I've generally been using um, for these last few games and I'm going to be using today we've got Martin Phillips in goal Kevin Kennedy and Derek Carter left back and right back Kevin Kennedy by the way is getting better and better and is now considered one of my best players on the side which is nice Ryan Williams Max Stedman um, centre backs Tommy Webb and Aaron Milnes in um, centre midfield Tommy Webb getting a bit upset that he hasn't been starting many games even though he's, he scored that last game he scored in the other game he should be happy about that so I'm giving him a chance on the starting 11 to today we've got odd face and Oranuga on wing and uh, of course silent brothers up front silent n plays the kind of target man role and silent j plays an advanced forward role it seems to be working but silent n still seems to be getting goals as well even though he's target man so i'm pretty pleased with that to be honest and it's those roles seem to be working out for me quite nicely Look at that. Silent End. The target man has scored 26 goals in 36 games. And we're only 26 games into the season. My, my. Okay, so with this 4-4-4... 4 4 4 4 4, four, four, four That would be cheating if I had that formation. With the 4-2-4 four, formation, I'm going standard mentality, keeping it very simple. Um, we uh, What we'll do is I'll, I might begin to add the odd instruction here and there if it kind of comes up and like often over the last few games I've gone into kind of closing them down a little bit more later stages of the game I go into maybe a, um, kind of more of a direct passing and route one it also all depends on how I'm doing really so but I start off with no instructions at all it seems to be doing the trick Silent J meanwhile has a really poor shot and it goes miles wide um, and we're about 10 minutes in and yeah Hmm, even, even Stevens. Okay, here's Kidsgrove on the attack here, but Kennedy cuts them short and Phillips clears the ball across to Orinuga. Orinuga pays it forward. Great ball. Oh, Jay can't quite get onto that, but it was a nice attempt. The other suggestion that was made to me in the comments, thank you so much. Um, and actually, it's something that I'll do already is have here. Oh, hang on. Attack from oh, Kidsgrove knocked it wide there. Knocked it wide. Poor shot. Um, is have the formation up here on the right. You can see there. See the opposition's formation. You can see here there. It just says they're doing a 4 2 2 2 DM. So they're probably in sort of standard mentality. You can see they've got a lot of people at the back there. Oh, my goodness. Silent Jay's just giving away a penalty. Oh, what? Come on, Jay. I've just been bigging you up to everybody. So here's Kidsgrove on the 25th minute, and it, who's it going to be? It's Birchall. Here he goes. Ah, oh, straight down the middle. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. So we're 1-0 down after 25 minutes. Oh, come on, man. Can't believe this. I've been doing really well in that. Earlier on this season, I put the camera on, and it would be great, and I'd win all the games. Now I'm putting the camera on, and I seem to be losing them all. Lost... Lost to Met Police last time, who were in the relegation zone. Meanwhile, it looked like it was one of our midfielders who had a shot there, and we've got a corner. Here we go, Carter, Derek Carter, with a corner. Oh! Oh! I've been working on corners, by the way, a little bit. See, now, if you watch this, it goes to the far post most of the time. That's why I'm tending to find that it just gets a bit more messy at the far post, and we can tend to try and get ahead on it. So you'll see here, most of these are all beginning to try and aim it to the far post. Um, haven't scored from it yet, but... They're practising. The reason is I just got a bit bored with the corners always seeming to go to the near post and just being headed out. It was happening pretty much every time and I got sick of it. So I was like, go to the far post at least. Here's Silent J. Tries to get across, but it's deflected off a Kidsgrove defender for a corner. And here's um, uh, Kennedy again with a corner, deeply into the box. See, they're just getting a bit deeper. And you, it just holds, I don't know, gives you a thick impression that something could happen. Here's Kidsgrove. They've got the ball in the box. Don't foul them, boys. Not giving away a second penalty. And Kidsgrove on the attack here. Um, close them down, boys. Just just don't let them get too much of this. They're passing it around quite a lot. And they've got a corner from here. 35th minute we're just about to enter into. Birchall was the corner for a Kidsgrove. Clear it, the boys. Good. Headed out on Stedman. And uh, Phillips clutches onto the cross. OK. Oh, here we go. It looks like odd space. Oh, Webb. Milnes. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Silent end. Silent J. Oh, poor shot. It was a poor shot in the end. 
We have had a lot of corners in this game, haven't we? It's a good opportunity to try out to try out our new training regime. Uh, I'd like I'd like it to be at least goal, one goal from them. We've had five so far, uh, and none of them have gone in. Close them down. Close. I do. We cannot go into this half two nil down. That would be a terrible way. Okay, good, good, good. Well done. So, kids go see see the attack. The opposition instructions are now showing that they're as defensive, which suggests really second half I can get out there and go into at least control mentality, maybe even attack. But Silent J, he's got the ball on his own into the box. Oh, I didn't strike it well enough. Then like we get his foot round it, and we've gone into half time one 0 We're the favourites here, and this just won't do. We need to tell them like it is. Here we go, second half, and uh, we've gone into control mentality now. You can see here, Kidsgrove is still showing defensive up in their opposition instructions. Um, we, I've just added the simple instruction to go a little bit more direct with our passing, and let's see if it makes any difference. Oh my goodness, Williams with a court with a header there from the cross from a free kick there, I think it was, and uh, well, good start, boys. This is great. Odd face. Into the box here. Silent N. Orenuga. He could score from there. Silent J has a shot. but got blocked. And oh, kids grow. I've cleared it. Cleared it. Come on, boys. Come on. Uh, it's Milnes. Pick it. Do something with it. Here's Odd face on the right here. Can he take it round this player? Tries to. Does get it round. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Silent N nearly gets a toe onto the cross. But he doesn't. Yeah, just keep playing like this and we'll score eventually. Look, look, we've got four. We're, we're playing better than them. We're playing better than them. Just, we are. Let's see if we get one of these deep cor deep corners to c connect this time. Here's uh, Derek Carter with the corner. No, again, we still don't. <laughs> To be honest, actually, all, I haven't got a decent corner taker. Um, I think my highest rated corner... Oh, my goodness. Silent N. Oh! Oh, he lost it. I thought he had it. First touch wasn't good. And he's lost it. Here's a throw-in from Kennedy. Odd face. Milnes! Oh! Yeah, our highest corner taker, is the rating, I think is eight. So, so it's, it's poor, really. This game has got more goals written all over it, isn't it? Looks like Silent Jay's having a poor game right now. 6.1, you can see there is his rating. I think if we get to 60 uh, minutes gone and he's still playing badly, he's off, mate. He's off. Un Silent brother or not, nobody's immune from getting dumped. Maybe you've been dumped this week. If you've been dumped, put it in the comments. If you got dumped this week, if, if your guy girlfriend or your boyfriend turns to you this week and be like, you're dumped, mate, then leave it in the comment. Let this, maybe we can have a, a time of crying altogether I could, I could be like an agony uncle I could be like the worst agony uncle ever share your problems and we can take it out on football manager Kennedy makes a clearance here to silent N what can he do giving it away giving it away you idiots supposed to be trying to score a goal it, we, 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 I hope they realise that we're actually losing right now oh my goodness and I was giving them some more instructions and Kidsgrove have now gone 2-0 up I can't believe this. I can't. I, I said there were going to be goals, but I genuinely actually thought it was going to be me. Why am I losing to Kids Grove? This is ridiculous. Right, I'm getting aggressive now. I can't get aggressive because I've only recently made a team talk. Oh, shot again from Kids Grove and Phillips holds onto it. Oh, come on. Right, Orinuga on the left. We've got about about half an hour of game time to do something here we've, we did it in the last game we've not the last game but we've done it before in that we've made a comeback from like 3-0 down and nearly won well nearly drew but but we lost so it wasn't a comeback at all was it it was it wasn't anything is that uh, Milnes oh they've lost it we're just not closing them down right instructions closing them down much more faster pace we need to go wider I feel and we're going to yeah that'll do that'll do is Orinuga on the left here for us a late goal on the 82nd minute could give us a glimmer of hope. I don't know if it's doable, though. Kennedy with the cross, no. And Jordan Ball, who's come on from for Silent J. Oh, there's a shot and some fiddler, fiddler around. Federico, who's come on for Odd Face. Can he do anything here? He's got hold of the ball. He's taking it way out of the area. Back to the halfway line. Back, back to the... You know what? Halfway line's not enough. Let's kick it back to the keeper. After all, we only need to score two goals. Brilliant. Well, looks like we're going to lose another game on camera. So I'm, I feel... I feel awful because I feel like I've been doing so well when the camera's not on and then for some reason I turn the camera on and I lose and oh such a shame you, seriously the games before were so good they were so good 
Really, genuine. They were really good. Here's Jordan Ball on the attack here for us. Come on. A last minute ditch. Even if we just get one. Just get one goal. Do you know what I mean? Kennedy. We deserve a goal, I feel. I feel. You know? We've probably been a bit unlucky. If we if we had scored early in the second half, they might not have then got their second. But we didn't. And they did. That's the way football goes. We've had some poor performances, to be honest. I saw a lot of yellow cards in that list there. A lot of 6.4s, 6.3s, 6.5s. You can see here our average rating is 6.52 as as a start as the 11. So that's not good. On reflection, we probably do deserve to lose this. But too many more of these types of games, and we are definitely not going to get promoted. I, I kind of don't, I want to win the league because then you don't have to do the whole faffing around of the playoffs, the hell of the playoffs. Do you know what I mean? But here we go. Can Sanjay get onto that? No, he can't. And that will probably bring this game to a close. Yep, there we go. Lost 2 0 to Kids Grove. Such a shame. I'm going to go aggressive with them. Far from pleased with that result. Not happy there. Not happy at all. So you can see here, I haven't lost my place in second. However, Nantwich are now four points clear at the top. We've got 27. We've played 27 games. There are 46 games to play. So there's a lot of football still to go yet. And so we've got a long way to go. So we're in January right now. Let me get through another month or so of football. Another kind of five, six games. I'll tell you what, I'm going to try and wait until we play like a really important team that are either kind of really rubbish, who I'll definitely get a win on, or a team that are actually Nantwich or Farsley or one of the other teams that are near me that I, I can't remember their names of right now. I'll play one of those kinds of games and uh, we'll move along with this season so we can see how we get on. I'm so desperate to get promoted. I'll be absolutely gutted if we miss out on this time. I don't know what I'll do, whether I should then jump ship and try and find a new team to, to take or stick with Corbs. Should I stick with Corbs? Maybe I should just stick with Corbs. Yeah, you can see here the the games I've got coming up. We've just got the league now. Just the focus of the league and we can do this. But thank you anyway for joining me today. I really appreciate you coming along and watching this video. If you have liked it, do hit the like button. Do hit the subscribe button and, uh, and tell your friends. Get the little notifications that tell you when I've uploaded so you can watch it. But until next time when we'll have some more carnage with Corby. I'll see you later. <laughs>